from my booktube channel, fellow booktubers and book lovers. Um, this is my April anticipated books coming out and my TBR. So we'll first talk about the anticipated April 2017 book releases. Um, well, they're anticipated for me. I don't know about you, but I do want to read. These are all on my TBR list. I know some of them will be on your guys' TBR list. And let's just get into it. The first book release that's coming in April is Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. Uh, I'm looking at my computer here because I have them all listed. Um, here on my computer, so if I look over, that's what I'm doing. Um, it's by Jen Bennett, and it's coming out in the beginning of April here, I think April, April 4th or something. Yeah, it's coming out really soon. Um, Always and Forever, Laura Jean, the next in the, um, All the Boys I've Loved Before series by Jenny Han is coming out in the beginning of April, I think it's actually this week. Um, definitions of the indefinable thing, definitions of indefinable things by Whitney Taylor is coming out in April. Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray is also coming out in April. If you do not know Claudia Gray, you need to read Claudia Gray. She is a great writer. I've read some of her Star Wars themed books and they are actually really amazing so I'm really excited by Defy the Star like about Defy the Stars so the next one I'm actually really excited about um it's called Give Me a K-I-L-L -L by R.L. Stein and if anybody knows R.L. Stein is a YA middle grade author who wrote the Fear Street series and the Goosebumps series. Now those are from my young generation. <laughs> like, as I was growing up, R.L. Stein was a super awesome author and I loved him. So, and my husband really likes R.L. Stein too. So I'm really excited for a book that not only I can be excited about, but that my husband can be excited about. Um, the next one is called Given to the Sea by Mindy McGinnis, and that is also coming out on the 4th of April, or the 11th of April, somewhere in there, um, and I'm excited about that one too. It looks like it's going to be a good book. Um, Little Heaven by Nick Cutter is coming out in April. I had no idea that Nick Hunter was writing another book, but I'm excited to hear that he has written another book because I really enjoyed Nick Hunter's The Deep. Um, the next one that is coming out is Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. It's the first in a series. I can't remember what it's called exactly at the moment, but um, it looks like it's a good series that's going to be started, so I'm excited about that. Spindle Fire by Lexa Hillier is coming out in April. The Horse Dancer by Jojo Moyes is coming out in April. Jojo Moyes is a great author. He, uh, she wrote um, the After You and the Me Before You series. The Before You series. Um, which I'm impressed with and I really enjoyed. So... Um, I'm hoping I like The Horse Dancer because Jojo Moyes actually is a really great writer. The next book that's coming out and I'm really excited about, it's actually on my TBR for April. It was slated to come out May 11th or May 2017, but apparently it's being moved up to April 11th of 2017. So I'm going to get reading that real soon. Um, it's by Megan Miranda. I read her All the Missing Girls book and I was really impressed with that. So I'm excited to read The Perfect Stranger. The next book that is coming out that I'm really excited about is The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. 
and I honestly like have heard so many good things about this by different booktubers who have already read this book and I'm disappointed that I didn't get a review copy of it because I would have loved to read it before it came out but I will wait impatiently for that to come out. And the last anticipated read that I have this month is What Girls Are Made Of by Elena K. Arnold. I'm excited about this book. It looks like it's going to be an amazing book. So when I obtain those books, I will write or I will do a review on them on booktube and also on my blog as well as Goodreads. So if you do not have me on Goodreads, please add me. I will add the link in the bottom and you can find out what my reviews are on there. I write all of my reviews on Goodreads. So hopefully I like at least one of these books which I'm anticipating. I will love all of them. Um, that is it for April 2017 releases and let's move on to April TBR books. So the first book that is on my TBR list that I'm already in the middle of reading and like 25% done is Where I Live Now by uh, Sharon Botella. It is a memoir and it comes out on the 4th of this month. Um, and it so far is an amazing book so look for my book review of this book coming up in the next uh, couple of days. I'm sure it's only going to take me a couple more days to read this book and I will be done. So so far in April I'm doing pretty good because I'm almost done this book and one book in April will make me very happy. The next book I have on my to be read list is Megan Miranda, The Perfect Stranger. And I got this as a review copy from Simon & Schuster. I'm excited to read this. Andrea Sato was very um, helpful in helping me obtain a copy of this book because they didn't have any left. So she searched for it and got it to me. Um, so I am excited to read this in April. And it will be my next book after Where I Live Now. So that will be started within the next couple of days. The next book I have on my TBR is called Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Nick. I've heard amazing things about this book so I'm kind of excited to read it. Well, I'm not kind of excited. I am extremely excited. It's about a Chinese American family who's living in the 1970s small town Ohio um, the girl Lydia dies she's murdered so the Lee family is trying to hold things together but is destroyed in the chaos of Lydia's murder so I'm excited to find out what happens in this book because it seems like it is a very good profound book that will change your life so that is the next one on my TBR. The next TBR book I have after that is King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. It's the next in the Red Queen series. Um, so I'm excited to read this book because the last book was oh my god amazing and I've heard that there are two more books left in this series. It became a five book series instead of a three book series which makes me really happy because I do not want this series to end. It is such an amazing series. It's well written and Victoria Aveyard just outdoes herself every single book she writes. So I'm excited to read that. The next book I have on my list is The Bone Season because I want to, I've never read this book, I read The Mime Order and I bought Song Rising in March to complete my trilogy, well I don't know that it's, it's not a trilogy, I think there's two more books after this coming, but 
I have never read this book. I want to read it. I want to refresh my memory for the mime order so that I can read Song Rising. Um, because I'm super excited for that book because the mime order was really great. Samantha Shannon just outdoes herself all the time in her writing. So The Bone Season is my next on my TBR list. And the next book after that is American War by Omar El Akkad and I actually talked about this in my last video of my March book haul video and I'm actually really excited to read this. It seems like it's going to be a great book and with everything that's happening in the states right now and all the political stuff, um, it just seems like it's a good time to read something with substance. So. I'm really excited to read this book because it is the anniversary of his death on the 5th of April so I may push my Megan Miranda book back just so I can focus on the biography of Kurt Cobain and starting it on the anniversary of his death. I have read a few other Cobain things but there's so much written about Kurt Cobain because he was iconic. He was a hero of his time almost like um he had so many good qualities about him and he died at the height of his career and that was really unfortunate um i'm not gonna get into the whole debate of was it a suicide was it a murder i have my own opinions but i'm not going to put them here because it's a very touchy subject but um i'm very excited to read this in april Cobain is one of my idols. So with that, I am done my TBR and new releases and I will see you in my next video.